We are live. Unscheduled live, even though I did mention it in the live stream last night. That I would try to get on right around this time. How close was I? Yeah, it was about 10 minutes off. Well, went by the post office to see if there was anything in there. Nothing today. There was my 10 minutes right there. Or else I would have been right on. Would have been correct for once. <laughs> so, 27 pound lot right here. I have no idea what's in it. I've been just digging it out of the bag and putting the cars up. If you saw the first uh, first installment, installment of this one here. So, I'm going to have to put the, put the bag of cars. Oh, nice shot, man. I still got what it takes. Put the bag of cars down on the ground, and then I will start digging. Let's see what we come up with. A little podium here to start things off with. So we do have the phone charging, right? Because I know it. Yep. All right, here we go. Let's dig in here and see what we got. See if anybody joins us in here. Looks like there's one in here. All right, first up. Here, let's drop the... Looks like we got... We got Ferrari. Ah, there we go. Which is this? Uh, no, Porsche. Porsche Carrera GT. Like we're rolling with that burgundy interior. What's going on, Alvin? We actually got uh, the black version of this one in this lot also. So rolling with the Carreras. Very cool. Let's see. Let me pop this up just a tad. There we go. Starting things off with the Porsche. Can't go wrong. Nick Devers. What's up, Nick? <clears throat> I'll go back and answer. I saw your questions, Nick, uh, about uh, the YouTube Cup. Next up, we got a Johnny L. Or a Johnny L. <laughs> we got a Lightning. Um, yes, we will have Bristol. We're going to have the small tracks still. What's going on, Keegan? Uh, we will add Martinsville. Martinsville getting added to the... I haven't figured it out, but I know I can do it. We're going to do Martinsville. Uh, I hope to do a Bristol night race as well. I think that would be fun. Maybe uh, add another night race. The Ultimate G-Money 2019 NASCAR, dude. What's up, man? Next up, uh, we got the Inevitable... I don't know what year... Does it have the year on here? Uh, 2005 Dodge Viper. Still a decent roller. Next up, I already had one in my hands. I think this is the... Uh, uh, is this a Dodge Power Panel? Power Panel, yep. This thing is extremely light. Uh, hmm. That's funny. It's got the... I'm sure this isn't a treasure hunt. What become the treasure hunt logo right there. Matt Nile should be putting in a, a car for me. Awesome. Sounds good. Oh, good roller. Of course, I don't have track near me right now. I wonder if this fits on the six. Or in 3D bot makers, start gate. <clears throat> I say that because, and I don't know what it looks like on the inside, but you got to figure, and there's only one rivet. This would be a great one. Red pill. Hey, red pill, you would know. Or even Nick, you guys would know. <laughs> this power panel here, does this one fit on the six lane? It seems like you only have one rivet. It seems like this would be a. I know it sits a little high off the ground. Seems like this one, there's room to work with in here. Not sure. 
to put big boy way up here. All right. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that's too wide, but who knows? Okay, we got the old... Man, the base is so jacked up on this one. Uh, but we got the Pontiac GTO. Does it, does it even have it on here? Yeah, 67. With the flames. Good roller. What do you guys think about these live uh, unboxings? You guys like them? Something to watch. Nova. 66 or what? Yep, 66. And how is the feed right now? Is the feed good? All right. Got some time to feed good all right cool oh this is eye candy i believe not much to yeah i know that's usually when i can about the only time i can do them i'm gonna, gonna put eye candy up there and then we got oh crap what happened here what was that the fill oh heck no ha <laughs> ha you gotta be kidding me well first of all here's a bone shaker with uh, when you get them loose, usually these are already bent, but the axle is somewhat a little bit bent, but not too bad. Not too bad. And then we got a flipping Shopkin. Red pill, do you actually race? Yeah, well, believe me, I work, <laughs> I know we have a time difference, but I work at four in the morning, so usually I don't get a whole lot of sleep when I do the live ones. I try to do them on when I have a day off following up, so. Got the Camaro, another Camaro in this lot. I think they've all been different so far. Camaro concept. And then we got, oh, nice. <laughs> Seriously, do I race? R P R. We actually have a couple of the best YouTube modders and mod mod guys in here right now. Customizers, whatever you want to call it. What's up, Jacob? Yeah, Friday or Saturday are usually difficult. We got two of the best mod guys you're gonna find on YouTube right now uh, in here. Actually, Red Pill Racing and Nick Devers. Very cool. Dale Jr. I would like to get into the modding, but lack of experience, which, yeah, there's a learning curve. I would, I'd get the hang of it, but just the time to find that and the racing part is... There's that goofy monopasta thing. I have to put my queen off of there. Not that you can actually even see these. You can find me there. All right. We got the Firebird, 70 Firebird. So, whoever had this lot. I'll be there. Nick Devers almost ran a perfect King of the Misfits. Uh, what was that? Season 2? I think it was Season 2. Oh, man. Well, this Shelby is... I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. All right, this is a Corvette Grand Sport, huh? Yep. No bueno. Yep, that's what he's doing, all right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got the Impala. Nice. 
Impala, 20 inch blade, the taxi version. I've never actually, I don't think, I don't know if I raced them, Paul. I probably won or two. As you can hear, the axles. That Johnny Lightning was the surprise of that tournament. Yeah. What was that? Uh, convertible, if I remember correctly. I still have it. It's it's the inevitable Dave Akers Customs. So now we have three of the top mod guys on YouTube in here now. Woo! I uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to. I have it still. I'm gonna have to find it. I've uh, got a Continental, I believe. Not too up to date on my old man cars. That's what I call them. But actually, this Continental is pretty sick. Mister Acres, yeah, it was a convertible. Uh, it might have been a Mazda. I don't know. I have to find it. So I plan on the summer after after the YouTube Cup is over. Kind of getting back into the King of the Misfits side of the channel. Dave Akers. And uh, you want to see mods? You want to see dioramas? Look no further than Dave Akers cust oh, Customs. All right. I found C-3PO's toe. We got C-3PO's toe here. I remember I uh, I think it was uh, James Aiden had to correct me on the pronunciation of this. This is unobtainium. Mr. Akers makes some crazy, crazy stuff. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. Yeah, we got C-3PO's toe here, which he must need to clip it because it doesn't roll very good. Oh, well, gee, I wonder why. Wheel's all hanging off. Yeah. Imagine this thing. If this thing was metal, metal, this was... A black wall from the 70s, 80s, maybe into 90s. I mean, this isn't even metal. This whole thing is plastic, isn't it? That metal? I don't think so. I think this whole stinking thing is plastic. Let's see. Can you see me? Oh, I see my forehead. Too bad. That could have been a cool, cool car. Metal base. If so, it's like the... Maybe it's aluminum base. Yeah. Imagine how much tungsten you could put in there. Uh, what is the name of this thing? Uh, what is this? This is the Extremester. I've never even heard of this thing. Ooh, this doesn't sound good. I think it's aluminum base. This isn't even like this is. It looks metal, but it doesn't. I think it'd be heavier. Yeah, this thing. Sponsored by WD40. Oh yeah, here we go. See now, this would qualify for King of the Misfits or King of. The, yeah, it already does qualify for King of the Misfits. You Nimrod. <clears throat> this would qualify now under the the rules of. This is a 57 Chevy. I can't tell. Can't see on the base. This would now qualify because they ran these on the beach. This would qualify for the inevitable YouTube Cup. But the red windows are just... What the... Come on. You really think they're going to run? I challenge anyone to pack more weight and tungsten into a car than I can in lead. Oops, just knocked over the Continental. All right, let's keep digging, guys. See what we can find. What time is it here? The garbage getting picked up right now. 140. All right, I got about 20 to 30 minutes still. Oh, yeah, the hot bird. Dude, this is nice. I don't have this one. I don't think it... This kind of... Is this a main line? Or is this a, like a five-pack? This is metal metal, guys. Metal, metal. What is this from? What time did you date? What? What time did you... Oh, say it was. Uh, here it is. One something or other. 140. Oh, I got the phone plugged in and I'm still losing power. That's awesome. 
metal metal. Is this a like a five pack or something exclusive? I don't remember this as a main line. Oh yeah, always a good one here. This is the uh, just a copo. No, just a sixty nine vet stingray. Usually never go wrong with a stingray. I don't know how well it would do in a modded race, but uh, you must be on the east coast somewhere. Next up, this thing. Extreme goofiness. Uh, what is this? Split an image. Yeah. No thanks. Okay. Uh, oops. Maelstrom, I think. One of the just the absolute goofiest names for a Hot Wheel. Maelstrom. One rolls pretty good. In Maine. Crazy. The inevitable Maine. All right, here we go. Got the hood opening vet. Fifty-eight, I think, but definitely not the best roller. And we got Is this, uh, what you call it, uh, Lotus? No, it's like the Cadillac CN. Lotus. Ah, track set card, huh? For that, for this one, the Hotbird. Put that guy right there for now. I touched in this lot something weird all right this is uh the 74 charger this thing's pretty fast for a stock imagine if this had a metal base for a downhill racer and then oh this is uh what's his face from the cars series Be kind of cool to see. Uh, man, this guy pulls hard right. You guys know him more than I do. I don't remember his name. Hostile Takeover Bank HTB. You down with HTB? Look at all the sponsors on there. Chick Hicks. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Nick. I am not up to date on my Disney Carter's names. All right. Now we got, is this a Panos? Uh, yeah, Panos LMP-1 Roadster S. Good thing they did not name it the Panos LMI, LMIP. You know what I mean? Probably wouldn't sell a whole lot. Saying it's pretty nice, but it looks like the... the eh, still rolls pretty good. Looks like see some rusting. Going on there with the axles. Oh, and we got a Mick. Wow. I think this is the first Mick. The inevitable Mick. Just a complete waste of... Yeah. All right, let's keep moving on here, guys. Got a lot of cars still left in this thing. Uh oh, here we go. We got Michael Trip. This will not be a good one because the front axle is bent, tire is all cockeyed. Michael Waltrip Napa. Don't know how to fix the axle, apparently. 24 hours of Daytona. 
That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, he can barely race. What have we got here, guys? What have we got here? Oh, uh, uh, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Tommy, Tomica, Tomika. I've heard it either way. Chevrolet truck. The scale is 177. This is pretty cool. I'm liking this. If we can get it to... Number F44. Come on. Wants to focus and then it doesn't. Comes with opening, well, at least at one time, now that the door's smashed in. This one will probably open up. There we go. Now will it close? Now will it roll? Oh, yeah. Not bad. Tailgate work. Is that asking too much? Yeah, that's asking too much. It does have a tow hitch, like all the Matchbox cars used to. I always pronounce them Tomika, but I've heard Tomika. What's going on, Justin? Wish I had the Michael Waltrip car. Yeah, you don't really want the one I got here. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, yeah, I already had one right here. Got a tanker truck. Test mission. Peterbilt. Matchbox. This is China, so this one is not that old. Oh, man. This thing goes and it just stops. Next up. Ooh. We've seen this one recently, 3D Ball Maker. Uh, this is Amazon. 3D Ball Maker raced one of these. I don't think it was this exact color. If you have not seen the finals for the Charlotte $2 Hot Wheel buy-in, that's been posted yesterday. Amazon. Amazon Zoom. Then, oh man, come on. Redline Chevelle with the, yeah, the thing is jacked up. Some punk kid stepping on it, not even caring, probably, or perhaps not picking them up as they should have. It's got that burnt orange color to it. Very cool. If the axle, oh, man, I didn't even notice this one was all jacked up, too. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll do a giveaway with a box full of cars like this to hopefully somebody who has obviously the knowledge and skill but the time to fix them restore them and put them out of put them back on the track what's up minor next up we got the dodge uh, which one is this the 2008 dodge challenger SRT8. Looks like a pretty good roller. Not bad, not bad at all. Just gonna move Tanker Boy over there. I think we can get rid of that there. Let's get rid of Monopasto. You know, you guys can barely see that high. What's up here? All right, now we got. Dude, I fumble like every. Stinking car. Um, it's a V-Dub. Uh, Golf GT. This is a GT1 or GTI. All these initials and letters and all that malarkey. Oh, man. Banged into the Firebird. Hope you have hope you have good insurance, pal. We'll park the Golf over there. <clears throat> And, oh, hey, we got one of those drop-top things. Uh, whoo. Man. Yeah, it looked like they tried to drop a hammer on this one. Mid-drift. Bear mid-drift. And we got a bent axle. Kids not taking care of their cars, no doubt. 
Yeah, that one stuck pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, it might roll pretty decent if it was wasn't for that. Yeah, not a good looking one, but a good one for the track. Just not that particular one. Hey, here's another one of these AE86 Corollas. If you remember, what was it? Last year or the year before that? I think it's been almost two years now where I found... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rehabilitoy. What's up, man? I found one that was pink in a package. Never didn't see it. Didn't think it was correct. Miss Red Pill listening in for the first time. Well, welcome aboard. Welcome on in. We are going through used die cast, a 27 pound lot that I bought at the very earliest. From what I could tell on the tag, it's at least July of 2016. Yeah, that's right. Call me a hoarder if you want to. Hey, get enough of these, you can get solar power to your house. This is solar reflex. Solar reflux action. You want to get some uh, milk of magnesia or uh, some mylanta or whatever those chalky, stinking, disgusting pill things are for that acid reflux. This guy rolls pretty good. Ugly as all hell, but he's pretty cool. She married to a die cast order. Yeah. You know, you want to see this garage. This is... Got the inevitable Nova. Yep, 68 Nova. Red lines. Doesn't look like it's going to roll very well, and it's squeaky, but not squeaky clean. Fortunately, yeah, let's put solar power panel on there. Looks like I only have one fantasy casting. Well, the power panel, I guess, would be fantasy one as well. Might be, I don't know if there's any concepts up here. And, oh, is this Juan Pablo? Yep, Juan Pablo Montoya. Oh, these cars right here, the car of tomorrow, extremely hit and miss. Now that the regular NOS racing, uh, NOS, being in a road course, forget about it. Yes, he hit the jet dryer. <laughs> That is correct. Cole Trickle hit the pace car. Juan Pablo Montoya hit the jet dryer. And Toretto hit the NOS. Oh, salt. These cars, car tomorrows were... I don't have a new version, never have, but the used ones I've got have been extremely hit and miss. Either they run well or they don't. I hit it in the 500. I don't remember it being the Daytona 500. Take you. What is this? Iron Man? Nothing wrong with a... Man cave full of Hot Wheels. Iron Man? What is this thing from? This can't be a Hot Wheel. Uh, 2008 Treya... Mm. Got a stamp of 2008. This is, but it doesn't have any other. Just marble, huh? I was thinking May East though, but normally they'd put their stamp on there. It's got to be May East though. This thing looks like a U insert. Skinny tires really screws it up of any chance of being fast. Trying to pull tool two at a time. That way I don't have my back bending over. Uh, what's the name of this guy? I can't think of it. Uh, formulator. Yeah, the Formulator. We saw one or two versions of the Formulator race. Maybe it was one. Race in the Indy 500. This one rolls pretty good until it hit that Firebird and probably decreased the value of it. Be my guess. I haven't seen this one before. Formulator purple version. It's got the gold 10 spokes, 10 spokeroos. All right. Let's keep digging, guys. See what we find here. Ah, yes. The inevitable army version 
Uh, windshield is busted. Well, I can kind of fix it, I guess. And I don't know whose hair that is, but it's not mine. And we'll just push it off to the side. Yeah, little red pills cars dominated at Indy. What did they do? Go one, two, and six or something like that? Oh, man. Hard right. Right into the Firebird. I'm decreasing the value with every car. Look at that. Dude, this thing rolls great except for that hard right. I didn't think usually these things can bottom out. Uh, 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 Stanger? So is this 69? Yeah, 69 Stanger. I just have never... Yeah, here's another hair. Whoop, get rid of that real quick. And you can hear the garbage chuck, and it makes the lights flicker. That's great. All right, we'll put the Stanger up there. Oh, man, I don't even know what this is. What am I grabbing? Oh! Uh, well, first of all, that had me a little worried at the beginning. Looks like just a piece of plastic bag or something, so we'll discard that over there. Look at this. Bad Mamba Jumba here. Spider-Man. Futuristic. Look at the grill on that. 2006 trademark. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. Right down the middle. Phillips screws. Red lines. Don't know what it goes to. Pretty cool, though. All right. Got that one. And we got black wall. We got the black wall emergency. What happens to this? There we go. Typical old black wall fashion doesn't roll worth a darn. More of a prop than anything else. That is a fast casting though. All right, then we got another one of the 2008. Challenger SRTs. This is a green version. And here's War Button. This thing is crap. <laughs> what I should do is maybe we'll do that as a price package. In the YouTube cup. Don't roll great either. Ah, eh, that's the eh, figures. Black wall's not the fastest cars. Hot ones. Here's actually a car that, for those of you who don't race, actually pretty fast. 32 Ford. Let's see what time we got here. Two o'clock. All right. Got Five, maybe ten minutes. See? That was good. Pretty fast casting. Alright, next up. I don't know how I'm beat by a heavier car. That was better on the track setup. Alright, here we go. Another 24 hours of Daytona car here. Uh, Ferrari 333 SP. Cars are not fast at all. This one just pulls straight to the garage. See you later. All right, another slew of cars picked out. Uh, here we go, Porsche. This is the Cayman S.
Little booger. And we are back. We got Bumblebee now. We got 2009 Corvette Stingray Concept. Is this metal metal? Is that plastic? I guess that is plastic. Huh? Ooh. Doesn't sound the greatest. Now it got uh, Scott Turner in the house. What's up, Scott? There we go. Oh, we got Zodic. This one's actually pretty decent. Casting race two, just stock downhill. Didn't know that the guy that built Terriel's car just threw everything at the track because why not? All right, we got a lot of uh, YouTube Cup owners now also in here too. Scott Turner uh, ran a really successful last three races of the season. He joined late, made the most of it though. Oh, look at this flatbed matchbox here. I don't know what's going to fit on here. Probably not even this Cayman. Not really. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy with that. Uh, oh, this one's about the same size. Let's get Iron Man out of there. Put the hot bird back. Kind of rotate some of these like I'm Don West on Shop at Home. And you got table dips. And then we got, oh yeah, uh, custom 62 Chevy. <laughs> exactly, Alvin, same here. It's what I grew up with, but, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I'm not saying this thing is uh, any 500 or uh, Daytona 500 worthy, but dang, that surprised me. Thought it was going to go right off the table. Lucky I didn't knock over everything. All right, so let's do this. There you go. Hooked on it. I'm hooked on the racing. Glad you guys are enjoying it. All right, what the heck did I just pull out here? I don't know. I'm not even looking. I don't need you guys see it before I do. What the heck is this? Hot Wheels Raceway Cleanup? Hey, here's a nice little prop to use. It's uh, probably missing something. Not necessarily. Yeah, very cool. Let's get a... Uh, yeah, that's not going to hook very well. But as it, as it lies there, cool prop. 1999. Very cool. I've never seen that before. Rolls pretty good. Maybe do a single run down the fat black track or something. That's very cool. Raceway cleanup. I will have to keep this one out. Look at the engine on this thing. Huh. Interesting. Go and put it back over here next to the rig of Spider-Man. All right, a few more minutes, guys. Yeah, that'd be a great El Reco one. All right, next up, woo! We got Predator. Let's check the axles. Well, first of all, uh, we haven't been properly rotating our tires, apparently, because... This thing is like uh, the Crime Dog McGruff. It's taking a bite out of crime. Actually, the axles look pretty straight. It's just that pesky tire. Oh. Predator. All right. 
I don't know about restoring them. We'll race what is raceable at some point. Oh, yeah, the Buick GSX 1970. Very cool. Good roller. Decent roller, apparently. Hard to tell without any track here. Need a spot for the... Let's get Formulator out of there. We'll put the car I had just picked. Put it right there. Now that I got that figured out, I'm about ready to bounce. Uh, what is this? Avalanche? Or Hummer? What is this? It's a Hummer. H2. Blinged version. Tuned. Whatever. Yeah, it's got one of these spinners on it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, God. That's horrible. Horrible. All right. Got time for a few more. You know, there's still a mess load still in here to go. Whoa, what do we got here? Hey, ha, Faradox. That's, that's the name of it. Have the body of this one inside the box. Metal here. The body's inside the box that I'm putting these in from that first video did. Oh, sweet. El Camino. Wait, which one? What is this one from? I can't believe I can't think of it. I don't have this one. Uh, come on, guys. All right, Nick. Thanks for dropping in, man. What is this from? Uh, yes, very cool. What is this one from? I never got this one. This came out probably about uh, five years ago. Maybe, maybe not, give or take, plus or minus. What's that El Camino from? All right, let's do two more for now. We'll call it a day on this line. Is that the Mad Max one? Nice. If so, nice. Very cool. I haven't watched that movie in so long. Uh, high voltage. We got high voltage here. Not to be confused with the tag team from the WCW uh, mid to late 90s days. High voltage. Second rolls. Fairly decent. Uh, we got one of these Dodge Sidewinder things again. This one will probably roll. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Right off Mad Max. Probably bent him out of shape. Literally. This one rolls pretty good. All right. 208 here. Let's do two more. Two more. We'll call it a day for now. Don't forget to get your cars in with a dollar entry fee for the February King of the Quarter Mile. Those cars do by February 24th. Oops, I had one slip out of my hand. What are we oh. oh, hello. Yes, devaluated. We got a keychain here. Keychain. I need one, but I ain't going to use this. No way, partner. What does this do? Must do something. A switch. Yeah, either way, I'm not going to use it. Got a love meter. High voltage. All right, two more. Got another one. The GT, Porsche Carrera GT. Very cool. meter treasure hunt hot wheels fantasy car el camino uh, it's ain't a treasure hunt no way all right last one guys muscle tone decent car to race in this muscle tone uh, yep muscle tone oh decent car to race here as a stock 